My name is Shalini and I live in France and I make videos of my life here in France. Being a passionate maker um, since many years now, I am also a keen follower of what the other artists and craftspersons in France are doing. So in this video, I'm going to be introducing you to a few of my uh, fellow makers here in France, people whose works I have been following for many years now in social media. So here they are. Hello, my name is Janet Langman and I live in the medieval thermal spa town of Salis de Bayonne in southwest France. Knitting is my true love and it nurtures me like nothing else does. I was taught by my mother who called me Knit One Drop One. She regretted it thereafter as I was always borrowing her needles. Last November I published my first pattern on Ravelry and have just released my third. I am inspired by nature and the changing seasons and want to create garments which are both beautiful and functional. I make buttons and jewellery using crystal resin and dried seeds and flowers. Demolding is such fun because I never know how they're going to turn out. It's like catching sunshine and being able to look at it all year. The range of knowledge and the willingness of people to share have been wonderful things to experience, quite frankly. How it is to be a crafter in France, I think in general it's quite difficult. There is not the culture of taking courses that exists in the UK. Many French women work and don't have the time or the resources. Also, every artist must register as a business and start paying social charges immediately, which is really tough when you haven't got any money coming in. So, overall, being a self-employed entrepreneur in France is challenging. In terms of how COVID-19 has affected my business, because I sell online, I've seen an increase in interest in my knitting patterns, but my sales of buttons have dropped off dramatically. Hello there, my name is Julie North and I'm a printmaker. I live in the Mayenne department of the Pays de Loire region of France. So I've been practicing printmaking for around nine years now. Um, I was first introduced to um, printmaking when I took a short weekend course in lino cutting, um, after which I was totally hooked. So after we moved to France, I have to say um, it took a little while for us to become established in the community, um, integrate with um, our neighbours and uh, um, and really improve on our French skills. As an artist, it's been quite difficult to um, make contact with um, other artists and certainly other printmakers. Um, I, I don't think there's such a large tradition or great tradition of printmaking in France and certainly I've found that um, lino cut printmaking in particular isn't um, especially well known um, here. To my surprise, and delight, I won a silver medal by the invited jury. So the carving for this block is finished and it's now ready for inking. I'll use my roller with my ink on a glass plate. Japanese Kozo paper. It's very fine, but it's made of bamboo. It has strong fibres, so it takes printmaking very well. I'm going to use this Japanese baron. It's made of bamboo leaf with cardboard disc inside. And I'll use this to gently rub the back with the bee. Letter P. Bonjour et d'abord merci pour m'avoir convié à cette initiative. En effet, j'ai beau avoir un parcours en design et communication, c'est très étrange en ce qui concerne ce côté artistique. Je suis beaucoup plus réservée ou carrément silencieuse en tant que designer. 
Je suis plutôt une mercenaire au service d'une identité qui ne me correspond pas toujours. Alors une démarche artistique, c'est vraiment reprendre ma liberté. J'essaie de m'affranchir en fait du regard qui se posera sur mes créations. Pas que j'y sois indifférente bien sûr, mais cela m'importe beaucoup moins qu'avant. Travailler pour moi, c'est plus intime, forcément. Et c'est surtout plus confortable si je décide une fois pour toutes de ne rien expliquer. Si j'en avais la possibilité, j'aimerais toutes me les approprier. Parce que tout m'intéresse et tout m'inspire. Si j'ai plus de peinture, je vais m'amuser avec mon ordinateur. Si j'ai plus d'aquarelle, je tenterai de faire la même chose avec de l'acrylique. Je pense que je détruis ce que je fais presque autant que ce que je crée en fait. Parce que j'aime l'idée que peu de choses restent figées. J'ai besoin d'explorer à l'instinct sans me soucier de plus. Un jour, peut-être, je serai satisfaite de mes créations. Pour l'instant, celles qui retiennent mon attention sont surtout celles qui m'échappent. Voilà, merci d'avoir partagé ce moment avec moi, parce que je vous promets que ça ne m'arrivera pas souvent. This was my very first paper cut that I had ever started out with. Um, as you can see, it's very detailed and at the time of designing this, I had no idea of how much time it would take for me to, to complete it. This is one of my bigger sized paper cuts uh, around the city of Paris with all of its cats. And I wanted to give it a lot of quirky details. Uh, the name of this artwork is called Paper Boats. I wanted it to be as dreamlike as possible. He's an only child, by the way, and most of the times he has to know how to keep himself amused. And that's what he does. That's what he's doing in this picture. The art of paper cutting is ancient, having its origins in Asian countries. I have used this ancient technique and merged it with modern designs to make something unique. All of my works have a story-like, imaginative feel to it. I am attracted to children's stories, to making art about nature and animals. I have also made a lot of personalized works that made me push my boundaries and try themes different to what I usually do. Tout commence par la recherche et la collecte du bois de récupération chez les brocanteurs, les scieries, les artisans du bâtiment, dans les déchetteries et les vieilles granges en ruine, nous n'utilisons que du bois et des ardoises recyclées. Après une période de séchage dans l'une de nos granges, le travail consiste à découper, poncer, traiter et préparer le bois pour la peinture à l'huile. Nous vivons et nous créons au cœur de la Normandie. Nous habitons dans une ancienne ferme et là, nous puisons notre inspiration dans la nature. De cette nature du pays de Bray, nous peignons les animaux de la ferme, les animaux de compagnie, les animaux issus de la faune sauvage, les oiseaux, les fleurs et également, étant à proximité de la mer, nous peignons les phoques et les oiseaux de la mer. Aujourd'hui, nous vendons nos créations dans des boutiques en Bretagne, en Normandie, dans le Nord, en région parisienne. Le temps du confinement ou le temps immobile, c'est aussi pour nous le moment de laisser gambader notre esprit sur les chemins infinis de la création. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, since there were very few uh, videos here on YouTube of uh, makers in France, so I was inspired to make this video. I do hope for them that uh, once this lockdown situation is over and things go back to normal, that uh, their creative careers will be revived once again. Uh, I would appreciate if you were to give 
all of us make us the support uh, at the moment by at least liking and following us on our social media accounts. That would be a wonderful support for us. If you have enjoyed my work or the work of the other makers, please let us know in the comments. I'll see you again in my next video.